Master Nick, and we got Caitlin, uh, Liam, no, Colin, Colin, Case, Max, other Max, I put the two Maxes together, it's fine, Jamie, and uh, Gregory Smith. Uh, with that being said, we're going to have a great class today, we're going to be going through some kicks, and you may notice that something that these guys have that you may not have in front of you. They have chairs. Now, I want to make something very, very clear here. These chairs are their chairs. They can't touch anybody else's, and they're actually not even allowed to touch this chair. The chair today is just going to be used as guidance. With that being said, we cleaned it down, and I'm going to clean it down again afterwards. I'm not going to use the same chairs twice, but this is their chairs. So guys, like I said, you don't touch them. If you touch them, you only need lots of push-ups. that means that I have to lay it down with a lot stronger things. Yes? How many push-ups? I think 10. About right. So, today we are going to have some fun warm-ups, we're going to do some fun things, and Caitlin's going to be kind of like my assistant to the side over here. With all that being said, let's get started, shall we? Start bringing your knees up and down and hop in place. While you do that, I'm going to kind of fix my camera just a little bit here. I'm going to move it a bit over. I think there is about right. Yeah, I think that works. Yeah, there we are. Dog in place, dog in place. Perfect. And as a reminder from last time, today we aren't going to be doing much of a warm up. You need a warm up, make sure you do it beforehand. Tail kickers. I'm glad to see Rhythms here, and Kirthana's here, Isabella's here, Evan's here, Nicole's here, Narinjana's here. Oh, we got a whole bunch of people. All right, outside crescents. Now, Caitlin, I know you have a chair in front of you. You're just going to have to do the best you can. All right, inside crescent. So today, you are, guys are gonna come up with three exercises, hip circles. And you can start thinking of the, the three exercises now. I don't care what they are, but they must be exercises that you can do. So for example, jumping jacks are one. Laying on the ground is not. Um, no, so that, I'm okay with snowflakes. Push-ups is one. Sitting on your couch and eating potato chips is not. They must be something that gets your heart rate going, but I don't care what the three are. I'm gonna give you 30 seconds on each. 30 seconds on each. My suggestion is stick with the common theme. If you wanna work out your arms, do push-ups. Do a couple other arm exercises. If you wanna do your core, same thing. If you wanna do your legs, same thing. But just make sure that you stick with the same thing. Can you guys think of three exercises that work out your legs? Let's name a couple. Yes, please? Um, kicks. Kicks? Okay, don't do kicks. Squats. Squats is one. Yes, Adam, that's? Squats. Yeah. Jumping jacks. Jumping jacks, that's another one. What else? Snowflakes. Snowflakes, so those are three. So try to stick with the common thing. Take a deep breath in, deep breath out. Deep breath in, deep breath out. All right, your first 30 seconds is gonna start in 10 seconds. Make sure you got them all down. If you don't have your three exercises, you got five seconds to think of them. We're gonna get started in three, two, one, and go. First exercise. Everybody here chose jumping jacks. Interesting. Oh, and can I move forward a bit? I always put you in front of your dog, okay? A bit back. Hey, Case, right there. I do have a laser. 10 seconds left, 10 seconds left. No, 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 please, I point to it. Right there. See the laser pointer? Right there, stay there, perfect. Okay, five, four, three, two, one. Next exercise, go for it. Push ups, I like it. Max is doing squats. Oh, I like Caitlin's decision for burpees. All right, keep it going, guys, keep it going. You have five seconds left. Four, three, two, one, and time. Okay, final set, go for it. So Owen's doing something called snowflakes. They are a lot harder than they look. You can do like a full in the air. Yeah, they're very difficult. Keep going, though. 10 seconds left. Four, three, two, one, and time. Chariot. Cunye. Now, I want to remind you guys, since we're doing kickstick, you are social distance apart. You're actually a little bit over social distance. 
I know sometimes on the camera it may not look like it, but they are around six to seven feet apart right now. Yeah, I know, I measured it out, don't you worry. However, with that being said, if you guys start to move too close to somebody else, you are not. So it's up to you guys to make sure that you don't do that. So if you feel like you're moving back, don't. So now we're gonna do some rising kicks and we're gonna do some basic kicks over our chair. Let's get started with our rising kicks. Caitlin, I'm gonna have you turn and face me and do it. Everybody else is going forward. Guarding stance. Ah! Ah! So you're going towards me. Everybody else, you're kicking forward. Forward. Face which way forward. There you go. Ready? On my count. Ah! Ah! One. Ah! Ah! Two. Ah! Ah! Three. Ah! Ah! Four. Ah! Ah! One leg, and then I'll tell you to switch after 10. 
So ready? Choose your favorite leg. You can start with that. Ready? And go! 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 Oh, I heard somebody kicking their chair. So if you kicked your chair, can you do five push-ups? Go! Did you kick your chair yet? Alright, so now stand back up. We have two more to go. Make them your best. Loudest key up. Ready? Go! So uh, one more time. Loudest key up. Go! Five push-ups. Go for it. Alright, two feet. Ten on this leg. Ten on this leg. Ready? Go! Hands up. Go! 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 Target! Kunye! All right, so I only got one more basic kick we're gonna do today. The final basic kick we're gonna do is a slide-up hook kick. A slide-up hook kick. Now, on our slide-up hook kick, it's important that we do something. Ooh, what, where should we be standing right now while we're here? There we are. It's important that we do a very certain thing. What I'm not doing is kicking over here and then bringing it all the way across. I'm thinking of these two chairs as starting points, these two edges. So the first one's gonna be here. I'm gonna go side kick. Bring it across, bend. So, I should be finished bending by this point. I should start my kick here. Kick, cross, bend. So, if you have your chairs, we're gonna do 10 with one leg, 10 with the other. Aya, one. Aya, two. Are you guys ready? Yes, sir. On my count. Choose your favorite leg, and go. So remember, when we do this, I'm only hitting between these two spaces. It's not all the way out here. Other leg. Are you guys ready? Yes, sir. On my go. Ready? Go! 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 Chair yet? Kunye. Miss Caitlin, can I have you move your chair a bit further? Up. Kind of, kind of. So, eyes on you. So I know what you guys are thinking. I see that uh, Nicole's in chat. Nicole, I know you quite well. I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, Master Nick, we're doing basic kicks. I learned this at White, Yellow, and Orange Belt. Why am I doing it now? Well, every kick we just did, the round kick, the hook kick, and the side kick is going to come in handy today. Because today we're going to be doing a spin hook kick. We're also going to be doing our spin crescents. And by knowing these kicks, knowing the basics really well, they will make it easier. So the, the exception of Caitlin here, everybody else, we're going to be kicking, well, we're not going to be kicking butt, but we're going to be going forward now. So you have your chairs to the side, don't worry about it. Chariot? Chariot? Yes, sir! Yes, Max? Uh, can I move my chair a little bit longer? No, that's okay. That's okay. Leave it there for now. 
Go to your garden stance and go, aya. Uh -huh. So I know we've done this before, but we're gonna work on our two steps of our back kick or any spinning kick or turning kick. Our first step being rotate our front heel up. So everybody, let's do our first step a couple of times. Ready? Go, one, go, two, go, three. Really rotate, go, four, go, five. Now our second step here is going one, then rotating my back foot. So if I do this this way, I go one, two. Again, one, two. Ready guys, on my go, we're gonna do two steps, hands up, guarding stance. Go, one, two, back, hands up. Go, one, two, one more time, go. One, two, final time, ready, hands up. Go, one, two. Now, actually let's do this one more time, let's do slow motion, hands up. Ready, go, one, Two. Now, carry it. So we know that well. On our back kick, our third step is looking over our shoulder and bending our knees. However, are we doing a back kick today? No, we're doing a spin hook kick. So what's our third step on a spin hook kick then? Who can raise their hand and tell me? Max? You try to get it. So Max is right. So when I do my steps, if I do this forward, I go one, two, and then my three is opening my shoulder up. It's turning my chest sideways. If I do this sideways, one, two, three. One more time, but I'm gonna go the other direction. One, two, three. Now my four, and you can consider your three max, maybe be this chamber up. But my four is going to be a chamber, side kick, then bring it around. So let's try this out, slow motion. We're not going to do our whole kick, we're only going to do one, two, three. Guarding stance, aya. Ah. Ready, go one, two, three. Now, see where I'm at? Do I feel awkward right now? What do you guys say? Yeah. No. See how my feet are kind of apart? My shoulder's here, but I feel like I'm just kind of dipping down this way. So let's try this again. Hands up. Oh, I see pull your feet together. Don't move them up. Go one. Two. No other way. Now three. Now back. Let's do this again. Look at me. Go one. Two. Three. Final time. Go for it. One. Two. Three. Now my four is going to be here. My four is going to be lifting up and bringing my foot into a side kick position. A side kick position. So all I want you to do, guys, here it is. Don't do it yet. Even people at home, make sure you're not going too far ahead. All I want you to do is this. One, two, three, four. Side kick off to the side. So if I do this sideways, one, two, three. Four, one more time. One, two, three. All I'm doing. Ready, guys? Here we go. Guarding stance. Ah! Yeah. We'll get to the fun part soon. Stick with me on the basics so we don't hurt ourselves and we don't go too crazy. Ready? Go. One, two, three, four, and freeze. Now back. Now you're not going to go the way over here. It's just slightly out that way. Again, hands up. Go. One, two, three, four. All right. I know it's hard. Get your balance out now. And trust me, your spin hook is going to be killer. But if you struggle with holding your psychic here without balancing, then you're probably not going to hit your spin hook too much as far. Let's do it again. Ready? Hands up. One, two, three. Four. All right, are you guys ready? The moment you've been waiting for. Yes, yes, sir. So, full okay. kick. One, two, three, four. Then I'm going to come halfway, bend just like my hook kick, then set it down at the start. I had an orange belt, orange purple belt do this today in my class. Do a spin hook. You guys can do it just as well. Hands up. Go. One, two. 
three, four. Around and land. Let's do this nice and slow. Okay, so make sure you're keeping social distancing. Back to move a bit, a little bit back when you think it. Ready? Go. One, two, three, four. Now don't forget to re-bend your knee. So look at me real fast. After I do my kick, I re-bend. I bring it back in. I set it down. On my go. Ready? One, two, three. correction to these guys in the studio and when I give correction I want you to listen because if they do something wrong you may be doing something wrong too if you struggle break it down into the steps one two three four do it over your chair kick over here come across then reset it down do it slowly then speed it up face your chair yes, sir. chariot Cunier. Guardian stage, I am! Spin hook kick on your own time. So you guys don't have to worry about anybody else but yourself here. However, if you feel like you're going to be falling over into somebody else, is that okay? No, we need to keep our social distancing. So, if you feel like you're going to fall over into yourself, reset your kick and do it again. Then you can raise your hand and say, Master, what can I do to do better? And I'll help you out. Your own pace at your own time. Keep doing spin hook kicks. If you got it down, go to your left foot. Got your left foot down, start to try to do it continuously without falling over. Nobody in the studio should be at that point yet. Ready? Go! Max, right now you're kicking diagonally down. Go straight across. That's a lot better, but slow it down. See how you lost balance? You're going too fast with it. That's still diagonally down. It's hard, it's hard. That's how you go through it slow. So Max, work on the steps. Do the steps that you've learned today. I know you've learned it differently before, but do the best you can. A lot better, a lot better. Keep working on it, you'll get there. Caitlin, slow it down a bit. Colin, that looks very good. There you go. Try to chamber and rechamber on the same motion, so don't get too far out. See how you started your kick? Here and not here. So do your side kick, then back. Okay, slow it down, way down. 
Better pace, better pace. Good job, Owen. Now spin all the way through. Sorry, chair. Don't touch it. Say sorry, chair, and give me five push ups. Keep going, I'm watching you guys, you're doing great. So Owen, oh, that's a good motion, we're getting there. But you wanna kick over, so if my chair's here, you wanna kick, so I kick here, so you can spin a bit easier. If you kick here, is it hard to spin all the way around? Sorry, chair. Slow it down, if you kick your chair, that's because you're going too fast. Oh, Colin, you're crushing it right now. Max, that's what I wanna see, but slow it. Slow, we're not at continuous pace yet. The chairs deserve better, that's right. I can tell you, Max, there's not one red ball in the school right now that I would say is at a continuous pace where they can keep going. Am I? No. My point stands. We're getting there, we're getting there. Yes? No, you're, you're, it's okay there. All right, give it five more kicks, five more kicks. Ooh, not bad. Also, you guys have socks on, so this may be a little bit more difficult than you're used to. Good job, Liam. This is kind of the first time we've ever had I know, you're doing great, Owen. This class is made for brown belts, but also helps with red belts. Cherry X. Kunye. All right, so now we're going to do a little bit of an easier kick, a kick that I think you guys will enjoy quite a bit. Oh, so I saw that linen chap. Sorry, you guys just saw a very close up of my face. So linen chap told everybody to hear something. She said, step three changes it all for me. A lot of times when you go on this big hook kick, if you don't open the shoulder up, then it's very hard for you to whip your kick around. A lot of times I see this. And then try and just spin it, and at the same time, it's hard to get your foot. So, step three is very, very important. All the steps are, right? You can't just skip one, or it's going to fundamentally hurt your kick. So, now we're going to do something a bit easier a spin crescent. So, let me show you guys the kick, and then you guys are going to pick it up and sit. Not only that, I think some of you guys may have the best spin crescents in the school in this class right now. And people at home, I know that uh, Skyla has a crazy good spin crescent, same with Kaylin. So when I'm here, I'm going to go one, two, but my three is still the same. Three. My four, though, is instead of doing a side kick, all I'm going to do is front kick. Oh, okay. That's neat. It's a spin hook kick, except you front kick, but you'll find that this is a lot easier. So everybody, let's go slow motion and try it out. Hands up. Go one, two, three, four. A lot easier, isn't it? Yes. So we're going to go through this slowly, and I want you guys to do the best you can. Feel free to type in the chat, and I'll let you guys know how you guys are doing. And uh, let's do, uh, let's do uh, as many spin crescents as you can. Go to your right. If you can do your right, do your left. If you can do your left, do it continuously. Continuously looks like this. Does that look difficult? Don't go there, guys. So, face your chair. Chair yet. Kunye, the reason why I have a chair in front of you for doing crescents is a lot of times when you do three, you stop your chest here, you do your front kick, and you end up hitting your chair. After you do three, four is continually opening your chest. Just like an outside crescent. I don't care about that. This kicked down today, too. I chose it. It was hard, but I think you guys will have a fun time with it as well. Go ahead and see it. Aya! Spin crescent. Go. Max, that's it. This is your kick, baby. You got it. Try to kick a bit sooner and make it more of a front kick. Same with you, Colin. Slow it down, guys. Do your spin hook kick, except change it to a front kick. That's great, Max. You're twisting three just enough. Now, you are twisting a little bit too much, but as long as you're doing it right, I'm okay with it. Not bad. Good job. Chase, good job, Chase. Change it more to a front kick. Really think about throwing a front kick there. Better, better. I know, I'm giving, letting you guys do something I don't want you to do a lot. Practice on your own. That's it, Owen, that's it. Now that, Owen, that chair's a bit high for you, but you're doing a great job. That's
That's why we go slow. Actually, it means about your same height. Or call it, call it. All right, chariot, kunye. Bill song. Take a deep breath in, deep breath out. By the way, Kaylin, I love working on basics too. Um, now, here's the thing. At red belt, are these your kicks? Red belt, guess what you have to do? You have to do the two kicks we worked on today with jumps. Now, here's the thing. Oh, by the way, sitting in the chair, yes. I'm going to give red belts some time to work on their jumps, and I'm going to let the brown belts continue to work on their regular kicks. I want you to choose the kick that you need to work on the most, the one you feel like you're struggling with, and I want you to do it. Now, red belts, I'm going to teach you a jump onto this kick. You think it'll take me very long? Max says yes, Caitlin says no, Colin says no, let me show you why it's not going to take me long at all. Everybody do one, two, now three, bend your knees, open your chest. Now push your knees up, throw your kick. You just did a jump kick. Now the difficulty on this kick not comes from the jump, but from actually still pulling off your kick. If you don't do three properly, you don't turn your shoulder, you don't bend your knees, Trying to do a jump kick from here, doing a jump kick in crescents, impossible. But if you do three properly, this kick becomes a lot easier. Ground belts, I love that you're trying this. Not yet. Just the regular three kicks. Yes, Colin? Is it easier to do continuous jumps? With jump spins? Ah, oh, depends on who you are. Face your chair, er, chariot. Cunye. Guarding stance, aya. Ah. Go your own pace, work on your jumps if you're a red belt. Go for it. Max, you got it, bud. Is uh, your hip hurting? Not really. Uh, I did one of my kicks. So I landed like this. Ooh. Here's, uh, don't do jumps right now. That can hurt your thing more. I want you to just work on some of your basic kicks, okay, Max? Okay. Yes, Max? Thursday class is for you. Thursday class, we work on more red belt curriculum. Brown belts, you can still do the Thursday class, but it's going to go a bit faster. Just know it. So you may need to stop or slow it down every once in a while, or adjust it to make it fit for you. So Thursday online classes with just me is that. Brown belts, though, however, um, will get a lot out of the Monday and Wednesday classes. Now, I do got one more thing today. One more thing. I'm going to give you a bit of a challenge. The challenge is this. I don't care, uh, besides the front, you can't do front kick, that's banned. I don't care what kick you do, I'm going to give you two minutes to do as many kicks as you can over your chair without putting your foot down. If you hit your chair, it's 15 push-ups, and you have to say sorry chair, because he's your friend and he's helping you out. The chair deserves better. So, sorry chair, 15 push-ups if you hit it. Any kick you want, your goal is to do as many as you can without putting your foot down. You put your foot down, that's your high score. Caitlin, is it fine if you put your foot down? No. Yeah, no, it's fine. If you start to lose control and you say, you know what, I can't do another kick, I'm going to put it down, that's fine. Everybody loses control, everybody works on balance, everybody grows. However, what's not okay is losing control and then not stopping, not readjusting, and not correcting. When you are losing control, when you feel like you're spinning out and you can't do it anymore, don't slam on the gas pedal. It's only going to make things worse. 
That's why you do 15 push-ups if you kick the chair, because that's your body saying, I'm losing control, but I'm going to still kick anyways because I want a higher score. That's not okay. Are you guys ready? Here he is. Kunye. Guarding stance. Ay -ay. All right. As many kicks as you can without putting your foot down. Also, if you fall over, you only have push ups. Same thing goes. Two minutes starts. Now, go. No, no front kicks. That's cheating. Round kicks, side kicks, hook kicks are all okay. Spin hook kicks too, but it's hard to throw a spin hook kick without putting your foot down. <laughs> are you trying to spin hook kicks, Caitlin? Did you say sorry, Chair Colin? Keep going. Oh, sorry, Chair. 15 push ups. What? No, no jump front kicks. You can't do a jump front kick without putting your foot down. Or you can, it's very difficult. All right, good job, guys. Keep it up. You've got one more minute left. One more minute. Did you hit your toe? Yeah. You're going too fast. Yeah. That's why we go slowly. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Cherry, if you're doing push ups, finish your push ups. You don't get out of it. All right. Hands by your side, ice four. So. I'm going to be in class soon here. It's, it's a little bit early. I need to, I'm going to have extra time because I need to wipe down all these things, wipe down all these chairs, make sure I wipe down the floor. We do a lot of cleanup between classes. That's why there's 15 to 20 minutes before each class because trust me, I'm cleaning throughout that entire time. <laughs> um, so today, thank you guys for being here. Real fast, we're going to shout out our scores that we got. I'm going to choose the highest person in the studio. The highest person in the studio doesn't have to do push-ups. If you got more than them, you don't have to do push-ups. If you got less, you do. Max, what you get, bud? When you push your foot down, does that mean you start over? Yes. Okay, then probably six, I think. Six? That's not bad. That's not bad. Especially with a hurt toe. Max? I was like, last time I got a little five. Five? Okay. Case, D. I think I seven or eight. Seven or eight? Case? Uh, 24 or 26. 24 26? Colin? 34? Owen? Less than 34? Yeah, probably. Caitlin? 36. 36? Okay, so if you got less than 36, give me 10 push ups. If you got more than 36, you don't have to do 10 push ups. Colin? How many did you get? Uh, 34. 34? 10 push ups for me real fast. Oh man, I, I think a lot of people did push ups. I'm gonna be honest with you, I don't think some of my black girls could do 36 chair kicks. That's a hard, that's a hard set. All right. Are you guys ready to end class? Yes, sir. All right. Hands by your side. Chariot. Kunye. Hands behind your back. What's our goal? Let's go, That's right. Well, you need to be louder than that. What's our goal?